Jesus Christ. <laughs> Our fucking bits exploded as soon as we started the stream. Oh, oh there goes I one more. I forget. forget to bring up the chain. I gotta, hey, hey, gotta see the people. Uh, oh, come on. I actually did not do some grinding because we're on we're par for the course right now. We're not yeah, allowed to fish, we're, uh, though. We're, we're split for the tens. That's not I tried to make that bolt, and it didn't work. That's not a thing. Well, I don't think you can split the tens. There's only one ten. <laughs> Listen here, I may be bad at bowling. Oh yeah, we can catch something in here, and we can try to fish and get another fucking Magikarp. Hell yeah. Because that worked so well the last time. There's also just it a thing did. back here. But, okay, well here's our here's our regular cave catch. It's a side up. Ooh. Cool, cool. Let's not kill it. Please. Be careful. Careful. Please barefoot. God, Minecraft block. <laughs> Do not crit. It missed. Okay, well. Boom. I guess mission accomplished. Do not crit. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Masuda. I feel like I should know who that is. The Matsuda method. Uh Todex, Tato, Sand, Pokedex. Duck. Would like to name it. Don't know what, though. Uh... Now, this is a reference that nobody in this call will get, uh, because Duck. there's only the two of us. Uh, I was going to say Newton, because Duck Newton is okay. a character from the Adventure Zone. Or perhaps, uh. or perhaps Beacon, which is his sword's name. Okay. Uh, yeah. No, I mean, <laughs> that's all I got. <laughs> I mean, last time we had a duck, we just I, we just named it after a uh, freaking... We named it after the pilot in duck. DuckTales, I believe. The a woo. No. Was, yeah, DuckTales. So. Sure, man. Beacon, that's fine. Into the good box. I sure as heck don't, don't know anything about the Adventure Zone other than it's a, like, role-playing game stream. It's a it's a D and D by the podcast. The Trevor people. Nope. Well, because isn't the game they're doing now like a two D six based game? Yeah, it's uh, they're doing Monster of the Week now. Yeah. And it's by the Mash Junichi Roy's. Masuda is one of the founders of Game Freak and serves as board director. Yeah, it's basically right. what I was gonna guess, and not uh, that he was some dude that liked Pokemon and he had a thing named after him. I'm very in the know about uh, everything. Okay. Nope. Wait. There's not a question you could ask that I could not answer. The answer may be incorrect, but I could answer. <laughs> the answer it. may be wildly wrong. Damn it! You but figured I, out my method. <laughs> but I can answer it. So oh, die. Okay, so we've got a magic cart. What are we gonna do? <laughs> Good lord. I just have no willpower to name magic carps. It's like. <sighs> Wasto 3.0. Mad Mag magic crap. <laughs> no, that's. That's about Josh, all please. I got. Hey, I forgot to tweet about the stream. Hold on. Uh, okay, yeah, use me time. Now you can't catch the level 100 magic carp. Ah, dag, you're right. I wanna, I wanna name it. What? What do we scram? You cut off as soon as you started talking. Yeah, a way to scramble the letters into a name. But I just keep thinking of Parker, <laughs> which is not quite correct. Uh. Pa pa uh. Hmm. Pig, uh, mm. Mad. Pig Mark. <laughs> Pig, Pig Mark. 
Now, I do like Pig Mark. <laughs> I feel like we've got some extra letters left over. No, oh, you need to spell it with two A's. <laughs> you know, no, I'm gonna go with that's that's fine. Pig space. <laughs> Pig Mark. Hello, this is my friend Pig Mark. <laughs> it's not gonna make <laughs> I feel like there's still letters missing, but there aren't. Magic <laughs> yeah, it's incredible, isn't it? R. Mm. All right, pig mark it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm down. I'm hashtag down with that. Uh, fucking pig mark, dude. Whew. I'm not going to make any sense once it's a Gyarados. <laughs> Ah. Oh no. A hostile. Quickly, kill it with fire. <laughs> or a knife. Alright, Minecraft block. This one you can kill. <laughs> Restrictors off. <laughs> Set phasers to murder. <laughs> Set phasers to fucking obliterate. Nice. That, fl that flavors to nacho cheese. <laughs> God, I'm so tired. Here is a different kinds of Pokemon. If you only have the same Pokemon, man, you have a hard time against people. With uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> uh oh. This is a problem. How are we gonna? We how, are we gonna how are we gonna? What are we gonna? <laughs> uh oh. Wow, she really held that angle. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, I know. There, I just wanted to get the thing first. <laughs> oh, man. What kind of person are you to be drawn here by the scent of flowers? I don't see... Okay, no, I do see some flowers. Also, how do you know we were drawn here by them? Maybe you just like flowers a lot. Stop projecting. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is bad. Go on, do a not if, uh Not if we're clever. Gonna do a swap real quick. Go get him, waste. Oof. Waste Time. doofus. Waste Doof isn't a isn't a water type yet, so this is fine. Quickly, fling yourself at it until it <laughs> dies. Nah. Rude. God, there's just not much to commentate on about a fucking this specific bad battle. Slow, <laughs> slowly beating a Badoo to death. Uh, Got a charity. Eh? How about uh, Jojo to Jojo? Why didn't I do jo that in the jo first place? I don't know. It does have wing attack. <laughs> yeah, I mean, mm. by all accounts, this is the better strategy. I will be honest, I may I may completely forget Jojo 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 is here like all the time. That's what Jojo 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 would want. Uh, <laughs> to be forgotten. Wow. There's a strong trainer who was drawn here by the scent of flowers. I still you're making sure. a lot of assumptions about me. Yeah. I did it. Behold. Hey hey, let me show up my bug Pokemon. No. I don't want to. I'm going to hit it with my rock. <laughs> hit it with my rock real good. Squish, squish, squish. What's the sound your bug going to make when my rock hits it? <laughs> my, 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 my rock gets it. Oh, no. He doesn't have rocks. Oh, no. I don't have, any. I don't have any. I did just get a rock tomb that we could use, but... Oh. I don't. The fact that we don't have infinite of them makes me not want to use them anymore at all. Right? Exactly. <laughs> Let's save them forever. And then just break them out for the Elite Four. Yeah, exactly. Definitely going to be using Bulbasaur. that. Catch a ball. Well, I agree. We should go catch a Bulbasaur. <laughs> what are we doing here? Let me time Being travel useless. real quick. Let me just do me a time travel. Also, hey, Leaf Raider. Hi. Welcome to tackle battle. It's a battle where we. It's a battle where you tackle a lot oh, until I one of them I dies. 
Really thought you said taco instead of tackle. I was gonna, gonna be honest. Minecraft. Hey, there we go, Minecraft block. Yeah. Uh, let's get rid of mud sport. We're never gonna use that shit. What if we run into an electric? Uh, then Minecraft oh, block okay. is fine because it's immune to that. Uh, but my... our team isn't. Quickly, use the rock that we just picked up. Uh oh. Hope nah, this... fine. Oh, this kills it real fast. Now, Minecraft block has been slowed several times. <laughs> no, that's. Yeah, we're fine. Bam. Go, Minecraft block. Minecraft block, Ray. strongest there is. I'm not going to be able to explain the charms of bug Pokemon this way. Uh, they're weak. You no, know, we almost. They're weak pieces of shit. What do you want? Let me just double check who's in the lead here. Definitely dabbing on them haters. Now, you know what? I want Shunks in there so it can get an electric move someday. <laughs> someday, maybe. You and I are gonna be the We can one-shot this trainer, can't we, Liz? I hope not. We're the strongest in our class. <laughs> Level 30s. Oh, no. Oh, dear. I read oh. this chart well, wrong. Oh, you know what? I actually did a good here. Yeah, I, but we remember could have how been I supported right here and right now. We still can. Oh, wait. <laughs> no, we can't. <laughs> oh no, my uh, hubris. Technically, I think we should have dropped either Rock Posh. Wait, no, Rock Posh does speed. Never mind. Yep. Ignore me. Go to drop Defense Curl, because it's not like. Why would I ever use a stat move in a Pokemon game? I mean, That's I sure as heck don't. That's a crazy talk. <laughs> That's as insanity. Now, the problem with yeah, Minecraft yeah. Block being here is that they're just gonna fucking focus him. Or not. Or with Shunks, I meant. They were gonna focus Shunks, is what I meant to say. Listen, we, we can't all be winners. God, please stop. Oh. <laughs> they're so fast. They're so quick on the draw. They're gonna get us. Alright, Shunks, I believe in you. <laughs> oh, At least they're not God. spamming Stealth Rock. Like that could be something. Twins live and <laughs> live and Liz and that Rayquaza and you two. Oh no! Mega Rayquaza here in my Pokemon Platinum. Shunks is probably not going to be killed by this quick attack. That would be impressive if it was. I wouldn't even be mad. <laughs> I'd just be impressed. No, I'd be quite mad. But but will, will we will we risk the next one, the hubris? No, oh. we're fine. It Although, suddenly breaks out like freaking. Uh, any electric move explosion. Wouldn't work. <laughs> As any electric move you're about to name wouldn't do it. Explosion, self destruct. Behold my my squirrel that when frightened explodes. <laughs> You ever just blown the fuck up when you got scared and were a squirrel? <laughs> you know. <laughs> it's a very specific situation, I realize. Of a squirrel that just explodes. <laughs> there was no plan here. Oh, but what was that oh, other way? Oh, Town. I'm gonna go find out in a second. I just gotta do this real quick. Isn't this the game where there's, like, a lot of team-ups? Probably. I feel like it is. Dude, there's a bullet seed over there. Oh, hell yeah. If you got Pokemon with you, it's safe for even a kid like you to go traveling off alone by yourself. Hey, you want to check out my van? <laughs> it's very cool, and there's plenty of candy in there for you and your Pokemon. <laughs> Just give them to me first so that I can uh, safely make sure they eat the candy good. <laughs> they eat the candy good. Hey. Get some bees. Oh shit, we can get some bees. That shit. Bees? Oh hey, did, did we catch anything on this route? I feel like we didn't. Or is this a continuation of the same route from before? Uh, uh, hang on. 
This uh, is Route, it's route 204, 204, which, yeah, yeah the, bottom, I think it's the, the same bottom route, half yeah. was also the, yeah. It's just cut in half by the ravaged path. Which is... What do you think which, ravaged that path? I don't know. I bet it was... I bet it was, like, one guy named Jeff. Water over time. Do you know about Grace and Dia flowers? They're given us bouquets to express whatever. It's an enduring tradition around these parts. I wanted to get some flowers from the floor of meadow, but the sea galactic guys in snazzy outfits came along. <laughs> these galactic guys went to the meadow past those flowers here. Welcome to Florum with a town of flowers, flowers, and more flowers. You'd plant some flowers of your own, too. Yay for flowers! I think that person likes flowers. I, I take it they like flowers in this town. Some kids of po some kinds of Pokemon only appear if they're attracted by the sweet scent of honey. Pokemon must have an acute sense of smell. They can sense the aroma of honey from very far away. Now, I vaguely remember watching some video about the hardest Pokemon to, like, catch, and one of them was, like, this thing that only showed up sometimes if you slathered the right tree in honey. Uh, it was, like, insanely rare. Vespa Queen, perhaps? No. Okay, now we've still got Something shenanigan dumb. in the garbage. Uh, did we want to swap yeah. Beacon or Pigmark into our party? <laughs> uh, well, do we want to invest in the future, because that's Pigmark, or do we want something better now? I feel like investing in the future would be... I mean, uh, Wastoof is going to be a water type, and it's not like Wastoof is going to be able to leave the party, so, like, I guess we kind of really yeah. don't need either of those, huh? Yeah, I mean, Psyduck's not bad, because it's got Psychic and stuff, but... Psyduck's never a Psychic type, the thing that I keep forgetting. Yeah, but it gets Psychic moves, doesn't it? Maybe. I don't know. Sorry, Beacon. <laughs> Sorry, Pigmark. Maybe someday. Yeah. Yeah, I've probably spoke. All right. It's a little gray. Yeah, and I mean, overall, our party is kind of one one colored. Quesadilla flowers. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Caliente. It was Mudflax. It held the leftovers 100% of the time. What do you need? I have potions, please. And Pokeballs. Oh, I have to stop five. saying Caliente anything, anytime anything vaguely like Mexican happens. <laughs> yeah, probably should do that. The only thing I say, like it was, we had Qdoba today and it's like, hey, it's Qdoba. And I was like, Caliente. Like an idiot. <laughs> but my coworkers co is like, what? And I was like, I don't know. I don't know Spanish. Just like saying Caliente. It's just a fun word. Oh, hey, don't we have some shit to sell or did we do that already? We do. Not. Not. Nope. There's nothing. See, in that I box. Help that. <laughs> Just in case. What box? I didn't see a box there. Yeah, You're lying. Me neither. Malasada flowers. Asada. Oh, this is just male. Yeah, there's always a male person. I'm gonna dress up in Pokemon. The cute accessories to take to the TV station. That way, everyone in the region will be able to see my Pokemon. You can't buy berries or accessories in Pokemon. It's better for me that way. I won't waste money in pulse shopping. You know what? That person's got it together. <laughs> Better for just sounds. Did. It just sounds like they've never figured out they could sell berries. Wait, what? Honey available. Okay, I thought that said, like, wormy available. I'm like, what the fuck does that mean? Yo, when I played, uh, when I played Pokemon Emerald, though, almost all my money came from my combi because I had a combi in my party, like, the entire time, and I kept getting honey from it. And I was like, oh yeah. And then I sold so much honey. <laughs> it took so long. Yay, we got the spray duck. Single berry grown to plant like several berries. We're planting one there. I hope you spread us for berries. Give you cherry berry. Thanks. I'm never planting this. Hello, would you like to exchange your berries for some accessories? Yes. Take this cherry berry. <laughs> <laughs> no, that idiot that over there just gave it to me. For no reason. Don't de esta. Would I like to plant a berry? Pantalones. You know what? I would like to plant. Why did that. Mm. What? I planted a Doran berry there. It only gave us one when we took it, though. Super love it here. That was just so. Look, you came here to get emotionally healed, too, didn't you? No. I came here because it was the next stop on my path to glory. <laughs> I got drawn here by the sweet scent of honey. Seriously, what's that? What am I, a Pokemon honey. or something? Mmm, honey. Any of my Joe Grand fans out there? Is there anything this oh, way that I should boy. be worried about if I go this way? 
Uh, it's Route 205. There is not too much to be worried about yet. Eventually, there's like a one grunt with a level 13 glam meow. Okay. And that's it. On this route? Yeah, soon. There's like some wind turbines and stuff first. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember. Dude, oh, also, did team we get Okay, blocked? yeah, the Team Galactic people are blocking us. Did we get help, help, TM trainer, please. I want to see my pop My pop and I lived attention. at the Valley Lynn Windworks with a whole bunch of people dressed like spacemen. Can they get me out of there making me have to do something? Please, trainer, I miss my papa. I'll get there eventually. Oh, hey, this is where the wind works are. We can get a drift loon here, maybe. Dude, if we get a shaman and go back to that flower place, we can <laughs> get the flowers that change it to wind shaman. Yeah, we could do that thing that's impossible. <laughs> okay, so what does Look, the guide suggest doing first? Going to the meadow or going to that? The that? uh, the meadow, the wind turbine. Wait, no, the valley wind works is what it has first. Okay. You could be saving money right now, not using not using honey, not the actual extension act, not the extension actual honey. Fuck. One of the times was bare, desolate hill. People started planting cellars because it was sad, but nothing was growing. Then someone expressed blessings for the blessing nature. The whole purple burst into bloom. I think it's cute. Oh, Pokemon pluck berries. Yes, you agree. Here's the move for pluck. Hmm. That's right. I always forget about that honey app. I wonder if that actually works well. It is 100% free. Normally, I just Google the promo codes anyways. Mm -hmm. Use code WASTE for 1% off honey. Ooh, Actually, it thing. makes the honey more expensive. <laughs> Speaking of that, I got a sweet $11 off on my purchase today. Seven whole percents. God, another Shunks. I bought my little brother a very fancy Xbox controller. And I used a promo code and it ended up just paying for shipping. And I'm like, this is fine. Nice. I mean, free shipping ain't nothing. Yeah, uh, so. Hooray. It's okay. Don't think I, about I, the I structure so... of that sentence too hard. <laughs> free shipping ain't for nothing. Uh. Hey, it, it's fine. It's a show all us. I do is is work, literally all the time right now, so I don't have time to spend my money on anything, anyways. Yeah, it's tax season. It is. <laughs> How's that I'm going at... for you, bud? Uh oh. Well, uh, it's just getting ramped up, and I'm at 30 hours this week. It's Wednesday, hmm. so I've been pulling solid 10 so far. Okay, We're I gonna think we can get it gonna see uh i'm just hoping that i only have a half day this saturday but i feel like it might be a full day i mean hey at least you're getting hours i've only got like 20 per week right now because our hours are garbage and then I okay so many hours. okay so let, let me tell you a thing normal sales on a wednesday for most of the year is like 50k right our pro uh -huh. our projected goal for today was 102,000. wow it was actually that busy. We only missed it by like 10k, which considering at like 3 o'clock we were sitting at 50, I was like, hmm, this isn't going to go well. <laughs> now granted, there's no benefit to like me, the individual employee, if we make sales, so I don't care, I guess, other than like it helps us get ours. That okay. is true. What are we going to name the Shellos? I did have an er idea earlier. Los Shell. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> now I did have an. I was thinking to myself earlier. Hmm. If we caught a shellus, we could name it like Solid Snake or something. Why? Metal Gear. Mostly so that I can go Colonel every time we use it. Okay. <laughs> does the chat? The does the chat Is have any other ideas? It's kind Is of a, that... like a slug thing, so it's a little bit of a stretch. Uh. Yeah, I just need like I just need any like sort of connection, and then I can throw my uh, throw my weight behind it. Snakes don't have limbs, and slugs also don't have limbs. Yeah, so they are both boneless. <laughs> boneless. <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on. 
There's no way this symbol exists in the game. No, it doesn't. Damn it. <laughs> what, what symbol? The the red box with a B in it. <laughs> Boneless. Boneless. I don't know. The chat's not giving us anything helpful, so like... No, I mean, wait, wait, some... wait, wait, wait. Uh-huh. Go on. Yeah, I gotta... <laughs> Shellis was originally going to be in Ruby and Sapphire, changing color depending on the version? I did not know that. But what a did, fun uh, factoid. <laughs> what a fun factoid. All right, you're going to the box. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 A uh, little, little sad we couldn't get a Drift Loon, because I frankly would have liked one of those a lot more, but oh well. We didn't... F no way we did fight a Shellos, actually. Once we get Surf, we can get Thunderbolt over there. Ooh. Damn. If Damn. only any of that were helpful to us now. <laughs> Fuck. This is shit. <laughs> so what level am I going into if I go into the Valley Windworks? What's the boss there have? Baus. Okay. So. That's a Team Galactic person whose name I don't remember, but what do they got? So, Battle of the Galactic Grunt, who is guarding the door of Valley Windworks. After defeating him, he'll run inside the Valley Windworks and lock the door. Oh, However, and then, then we need to go back and get go, the... Like, he has a, one, a single level 13 cat. So, so we, we won't be prepared. It's time <laughs> for the Great Kale. <laughs> that was fucking great, Kale. Uh, you're giving me a look that makes me think you're going to try to get in. Okay, then you'll have to battle me for it. The great. I kale forgot all the Team Galactic people salad. speak fancy. Give him the old rough chop. The old. Uh, the, top. the old smack attack. Whack a whack whack attack. Give me bop. I do like the falling bop, piano bop. in the background of this music. It's better than Orber, which just didn't have bad music, but it had very confusing music. <laughs> it was like two tracks wanted to do the same thing at once. Yeah, like I'm really supposed to win a Pokemon battle like this. You could try having not Isn't that terrible just great, Pokemon. getting owned by some kid. <laughs> me, me playing Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> me playing Halo recently. Oh, yeah, Swissy and I got back into Halo. Oh, nice. Which one? Five. Four? Because Five, five? because oh, that's yeah. the one he had installed. We were going to play the Master Chief Collection. He was like, oh, I don't have it installed. And that's like 60 gigabytes. I'm like, well, we can play something <laughs> else. <laughs> I, did, uh, I didn't play much Halo 5. How's that one? I think I played this campaign once. It's fun. There's a game, a game mode we've been into called Super Fiesta, where you spawn with random weapons every time. That's pretty uh, you good. Just and it's, hammer someone. It's the full. Wow. It is the full range of weapons from across oh, the game, yeah. including power ups within the game that it has. Jeez. <laughs> so like, some of them Man. are pretty whack. It takes me back to the good old land parties. Ugh. What times we but had. But you can't do a thing if I lock myself in with my works key. That's right, the other works key's not here. My cohorts in the flower patch have the other one. Ha ha ha. In that sense, I'm no longer the loser. Kerchunk. It's locked from inside. Well. <laughs> Alright. Well, why don't we just have our guy karate chop the door down? <laughs> it's made of metal. We can't do it. So are half the things he's going to karate chop. In fact, he's good against them. It's some kind of weird super metal. It's probably made out of really good rubber. Oh man, he couldn't do anything. It's made out of flying types. <laughs> the door's made out of feathers. He can't do a damn thing. <laughs> I didn't even know there was a 4 and 5. 4 and 5 what? Halo. All right. I yeah. completely forgot what we were talking about. Halo 5 yeah, I played was like Halo 5 years ago. I played... Uh... And by that I mean 3. Wait, no. Halo 5 is Guardians, right? Yes. Yeah, and never Halo Infinite is coming out this year, supposedly. I only played... Is that the one coming out now where Cortana's the bad guy? Or is that 5? She was 
uh, she was trying to find her in five, and at the end she was like, okay. "Nah, I'm turning all AIs on you. Bye." Weird choice. Cause, cause Weird she, flex. She's going into rampancy because she's yeah. like eight years old, which is much yeah, older. Which is the timeline. Much older than an AI should be. Yeah. I believe that I. Be I don't it's actually like know. She six, might be, isn't it? Five. I I want to say it's like seven years is the oldest that a, mm -hmm. an AI should be before yeah. they need to be it's decommissioned. Somewhere around there. And she is much I older than that because of time ago. she is much older than that because of floating through space for a while. Yeah, and Chief just like them not like Chief hasn't like landed and gotten a chance to take a break in like a thousand years. <laughs> it's been some time. poor guy. I mean, I want to say Halo Four is like ten years after three or something. So yeah, yeah Cortana, I, Cortana was is pushing it. Yeah, I did play four. Four is the one I played, where because right. that's the one where there's a cool scene on like that you like run out onto the outside of the ship right away, and that's like one of the first things that happens. It's sick. Yeah. But it's... I never played five. Was four on? Did four take place on Requiem? No. Yeah, it must have. Must yeah, have. I think so. I'm pretty sure. And then because there's like a lot of Sentinels. Yeah. And Forerunner dudes. I don't remember the story of 5 really at all, now that I think about it. I need to play it again. <laughs> Enough arguing, hand over that sweet honey. Do as we say, <laughs> Team Galactic will sweet, have that sweet, honey! Sweet, uh, <laughs> they're just smugging this guy for his <laughs> condiments. <laughs> we must have it to attract Pokemon in great numbers. Hey, this kid is a witness. What do we do? We don't need the brat running off to get help. The solution's simple. We ensure the brat stays quiet by beating him in a Pokemon battle. Ba, 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 la, ba, ba. Hi, 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 I'm assuming that's Sarah because it cuts off at sleep on the streamlabs. Yeah, it's Sarah. There. Hello, Great Kale. Kachalp! Get him with the kicks. Kachalp! Oh my god, this is the worst thing I've ever seen. Oh no, is Stunky not a dark type? It's not, it's poison, I thought. Well, shit. <laughs> Dude, I've made an error. We must have so... it to save money while shopping online. <laughs> Funny. So, I'm gonna verbally describe this gif that I'm seeing because it's incredible. So, it is. Mario 64, right? Yep. It's like outside Peach's castle. I think I know where you're going the, with this. In the upper left corner is the Lego Star Wars icon. Yep. With a count of... You, you've seen this? Yeah, I sure have. With the count of pieces. The very top has a, like, a compass from, like, any sort of Battle Royale game. The right side is the RuneScape map. The bottom <laughs> part is both Minecraft, but also Overwatch HUDs. <laughs> right. The lower left has the first place marker for Mario Kart, and it's Doom Guy with a shotgun fighting the Abyss Watcher boss from Dark Souls 3. <laughs> it's a very incredible gif. Like, so the lame. more I looked at it, the more my brain sort of melted. Making a neutral to fighting, okay. That was my mistake. This is so lame. They're going to dock my pay. I'm up next. <laughs> Battling you right after my cohort weakened you will gives me the edge. It does make you mildly annoying. I'll give you that. I'm somewhat bothered by you. Heads butt bay. And Great Kale is poisoned. Oh no. Let's swap in shucks. Now do remember we... Don't have, as far as I remember, we, we don't have Shunks a way to antidote not... outside of. <laughs> we combat, sure don't. Right? So. So before this combat is over, I'm gonna antidote. In fact, I'll do it right now. Fuck it. Nope, those potions. Those are potions. Oh, we. I mean, we we can, <laughs> we, we do have access to our. First of all, we don't seem to have any antidotes. Second, we, we have do, a pizza berry, don't we? Yes. We do have access to our berry folder, so these may become useful later on. <laughs> <laughs> so we can do the outside combat if we can access it then. Yeah, but I did it now anyway, because... Oops. Because I goofed. When does Shunks get a fucking electric move? 
What? Do you not like Minecraft uh, block? Minecraft, <laughs> Minecraft block is <laughs> our favorite Pokemon. Minecraft it's block is a taste. Good. It's a tasty Pokemon name. It's uh, it's it's caliente. Hmm. I don't think okay. so. <laughs> Minecraft is not Spanish for anything. I Except don't perhaps know Minecraft. Culture. Hold on, is Minecraft still called Minecraft in Spanish? Minecraft or would it be called whatever? Hmm, in hold on. Spanish. From English to Spanish. No, it's Minecraft. It, it's, it corrects to Minecraft. Damn. No, no, I did not mean Minecraft. I meant mine and craft as two separate words. Mia arte. <laughs> So it gets bite, uh, Shunks gets bite at, in one more level, level 13, and then Spark at level 17. God, that's so long. Well, might even evolve before then, I'll be honest. <laughs> yeah, it evolves at level 15. So let Ooh. me check that. Wait. I'm glad Shunks snacked out of confusion because he's done himself a hurt now. You want to know what's funny? It evolves at 15 and Luxio takes an extra level to get spark. So it doesn't even spark until 18. So we should save the sparked until... We should not let him evolve until 17, I guess. Until 18. I mean, if Oops. we really want to. I don't think it's like a huge deal. Yeah, fuck him up, Jojo Jojo. Jo. Because, yeah, Chico I, mean... si chicas. I don't know any Spanish. Something... Wait, no! I lied. I had to click the right tab. In Platinum, they sw switched Bite and Spark, so it gets Spark in one more level. Oh, okay, so then we're fine. Platinum fixed it. Hooray! That's, this brat's tough. Like, really, really tough. Well, a poisonous oh. gen brings Pokemon to 1 HP outside of battle Thanks. when it cures itself. Okay, that's good. That's really good to know. Thanks, Mala guy. Tougher than now I can put it to words, and I know a it's lot of words. <laughs> <laughs> now, hold on. <laughs> We're done for here. Let's get back to the Valley Windworks. Teleport. Oh, what's this thing? They seem to have forgotten it. It's a works key. It must be for the Valley Windworks. It's no, if it's, it's of no use to me, you may as well have this key to a building you don't own. <laughs> don't dare. <laughs> Thank you. You surely saved me. Those goons were trying to rob me of my sweet, sweet honey. Biblioteca. They sure were weird, though. You saw how they were dressed. <laughs> what they s were saying didn't make a whole lot of sense, either. Oh, I need to thank you. This sweet, sweet honey. Go on, take a whole lot. Okay. Is honey drugs... Because these people are really, really over the top about this honey. Slather that honey on I a sweet-smelling sweet, sweet -smelling tree. It might attract Pokemon. I don't like how much they like honey in this game. <laughs> it worries me. I will not. It's the only th words I know... If you put honey on a tree, check back later to see if it's rustling. But it is. This is quite often a rare Pokemon. It gets my hopes up if I see that happening. The flowers that grow in the fields here are special. Do you see how they're more vivid <laughs> than flowers elsewhere? And so you can thank Pokemon for that. Okay. I don't know why I read him so angry. <laughs> yeah, he's so angry about the flowers. Actually, I know, uh, I know basically all the Spanish used in the one semester of Spanish, Spanish love song. Hola, señorita. Señorita. Como te, Como te llamas? Llamas? Why do we both still remember this? Te Me llamo, llamo Mike. Mike. Me llamo Me Mike. 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 Don't Donde stop era el baño. Feliz, Feliz cumpleaños. <laughs> que hora es. es. Que hora es. Que hora es. Da, 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 da. <laughs> The best part is at the very end when he's like, au revoir. <laughs> no, I think the best part is shortly before that when he goes, Antonio Bendez, Nachos Grande, y Cinnamon Twists. <laughs> I think that part is objectively the best part. Did I, <laughs> it probably Did I it heal is. or was I too distracted by singing bad Spanish? So we, we should put Shunks in the front. Yeah, we need Shunk Storm in a good move. Please. I beg you, Shunks. Let's just slap some honey on this tree while we're here. 
You've never heard the one semester of Spanish Spanish love song? Well, it's simply <laughs> the best that 2008 YouTube had to offer. Oh, he got 10 on his shit. There appears to be nothing here. One well, what the fuck? Why can't I? I have to use it on the front. I'm so upset. It's locked from the inside. Uh, so, I'm too. sorry, 2007. The door to the Valley Windworks opened. A hole. <laughs> Thank you for even just the thumbnail is really good. My favorite thing is how you can see the girl trying not to laugh the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> He's so confident in the fact that he knows zero Spanish. What? No way! You have the key. Locking the door was meaningless. I am the loser in this after all. This is no time for self pity. I've got to alert the commander. There he goes. <laughs> we sprint the other way. I thought there was a bed in one part of the- Oh, I'm thinking of the fucking- I'm thinking of a completely different building in a completely different game. Did you oh, see how I just- bike, right? Did you see how I just finessed that dude? I'm gonna go Dude, back there because we need- things. We need the- We need spark. Yeah. Spark me! Oi! This is no place for falling games. This is proper spark work, me. I tell you. I don't know why I'm British and none of my friends are. Probably <laughs> It may have just been because I started that sentence with oi. <laughs> Fuck me. I have not been keeping up on little Karibo watching Yu-Gi-Oh! The, uh, G GX, now that I think about it. Uh, I didn't watch- I didn't start watching that series just because I didn't. Not because I thought it would be bad or whatever, I just didn't. I've been enjoying it. He's got a lot of fun little jokes he's been carrying through. But I kind of got distracted by a lot of things. Uh, but is Battle Right one of those things? No. I actually don't, I haven't played that since Apex Legends came out. I guess it might be dead. Oh man, then how, what, how are we supposed to tweet you about your life choices if you won't play Battle Right? Is that what that's all been about? <laughs> yeah, it would I be every, wondering. every time we were on stream and saw American Josh is playing Battle Right, <laughs> fucking a Boko and Swissy would immediately tweet you. I had no <laughs> idea what was happening. I'm like, there's some sort of joke I'm not privy to. God, when he says I have two bikes. <laughs> <laughs> you want to hear us for mental health reasons? Yeah, you did. Yes, an electric move. Thank you, Shunks. What? Some risk Brett missed up my job. <laughs> Better give him $520. Quid. Team Galactic needs it for oh, 20 quid. <laughs> Team Galactic needs electricity for doing something big. This accent is more Australian than British. I mean, those are like the same thing. Prove me wrong. You can't. Uh, no, that's how I can. <laughs> Collecting electricity from the Valley Windworks. That's our mission. Yeah, the last guy told me that too. I don't think this is how this would work. Something tells me this isn't how this works. I don't think you can just like take like, over rob a, a generator. I don't think you could just occupy a wind turbine station and suddenly the electricity is only going to you. Like Yeah, I don't I don't think that's how any of this works. <laughs> Hang on a second. But yeah, they uh, they they came out with that battle right game, Apex Legends. Did I just play <laughs> that now? I don't know. I used to, like, have all these grand schemes for what video games I was going to play. But nowadays, I just play whatever I happen to feel like. So yeah. it changes a lot. It's wireless power. Oh, in this universe, uh... Fuck. Damn it, I had a joke, and now it's gone. Nikola Shit. Tesla. Nikola Tesla didn't get fucked over by Isaac Newton or whoever. It wasn't <laughs> Isaac Newton. It was definitely not <laughs> it's Isaac Newton. It's not Isaac Newton. That damn bastard <laughs> traveling ahead in time 300 <laughs> years to fuck over Nikola Tesla. That son of a bitch. He can't keep getting away with it. <laughs> he, can't, he can't. I refuse. <laughs> oh no. Oh, this is doing a lot of damage actually. Please stop. Oh shit. No, no, no. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> 
We have to switch to a rock. We don't. Oh. You didn't see, you didn't see it, but I was doing the I one the, the, finger one, guns. the one guy that points to his head like ah uh, ah. Uh, I was doing oh, that. Oh, you did that. Ah. Apex. I love Apex Legends. I'm not good at it though, and I only play the defense guys who I've learned are bad. We need to go here. Which is about on par. Oh, but yeah, you see, like, it is. It's really low and a little funky. But yeah, so like normally what happens is I like play a game. I go through a cycle, right, where I, I play a game, I really enjoy it, then I immediately regret not playing the game before, and then eventually that wears off and I stop playing the game, and then I regret not playing the game anymore. Yeah, that sounds about right. It's a stressful cycle, but someone's got to do it. I do a lot of... Uh... Fortnite. Playing, I do a lot of playing old games a lot. Like every once in a while, I'll watch a video of Stardew Valley and then be like, you know what, we're streaming Stardew Valley tonight. And then we'll stream Stardew Valley apropos of nothing. <laughs> Fortnite stream when Ninja's here after all. I'm never doing a Fortnite stream. So Amazon, uh, uh, hang on, we got dialogue. But then we complain about Amazon.com. You're not the only one, I'm sure. Uh, mm, I don't know what to do for you. Let's see, this one's Mars, right? I'm one of Team Galactic's three commanders. <laughs> no, wait. <laughs> That's one of four commanders. My name is Mars. We've been trying to create a new world that's better than this one. <laughs> But we've li shown little understanding about what we do. This is a, this is a silly <laughs> voice. You don't understand either, do you? It's a little saddening. It's like he's constantly trying to spook me. <laughs> so let's have a battle to decide what you would you do next. If I win, you leave. If you win, we Team Galactic will leave. She commander of the Christmas. <laughs> she the commander of Christmas past. <laughs> I'm kind of tempted to model them after that now. Oh they shit! We have an electric watch. move. Ah huh? oh, fuck! Oh hell! We can't fix that one. Oh man! Josh giving me the bits. Pog champ. <laughs> Josh, Josh with the bits. Get in that bit jar. And hopefully I can catch it on the actual stream this time. Yeah, yeah they're coming. Oh yeah, they're coming. Oh shit, she's got a perugly. Wait, we're prepared. <laughs> nice. I realized I could actually take first again for a little bit. The problem is it still isn't letting me watch any ads. It's been like a month. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Do you think Perugly is pretty happy? First of all, look at the angle at which it's standing. And I'm upstreaming. <laughs> oh, <dang. laughs> Why is it's it standing? All, it's going all smooth criminal on us. <laughs> Why is it doing that? <laughs> I assume for a what power What the fuck? Holy Jesus Christ. Fucking shit. Ow. We were not prepared. Oh, man. We are much less prepared than What do you think thought? you're doing to my Pokemon? I did ask you the levels going up here and you didn't warn me, so like... You asked me the levels the first time we fought this guy. Oh Not shit, Sarah Bear donated one dollar, thank you. Oh fuck, <laughs> goodbye all your bits. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're slightly ahead now, which is the best we're gonna be, so... Yep. Mm. Oh no. Mm. Oh no. We should really be putting berries on our people. We should have bought something better than super potions. <laughs> Wait, Minecraft block. <gasps> Minecraft block. There's no way it could ever f <laughs> face the might. Fuck them bits. Yeah, you fucked up them bits real good. Bits. 
I'm still waiting for it to happen on on the stream. The it's stream. happened already. Oh, are I you it. are you way behind? Probably. Hit it with a rock. No. Minecraft block, you've betrayed me. We could try turd no twiggity. Yeah, but I don't I don't want no twiggity to he die is, is the thing. He is turtle. I forgot it had other attacks. <laughs> I'll be honest. Okay, Jesus. yeah, we can afford one more hit. We're fine. Yeah. We're fine. Too bad we don't have Rocky Helm. Yeah. This game would be over. God. Can't handle the Rocky Helm strat. Yeah, we did it. Hooray! Now Great KO and Minecraft Block are gonna get a shit ton of XP. We do have to level up no Twiggity a little bit. Yeah. He's flagging a bit. This can't be. I lost you, you uppity brat. I forgot I was a ghost. <laughs> we go, we go. I messed Ooh. that one up. That's all right, though. I quite enjoyed our battle. My, my. Lose to a child, will you? This is what I sound like. But no matter. We've collected plenty of electricity somehow. With the power we obtained, we can do something quite spectacular. It seems quite like obvious to me, Charon, the genius even <laughs> the boss recognizes. Now, Mars, we should be going. Will you shut it? The boss is the only person in the world who's allowed to order me around. You can keep quiet around me, you only joined us recently. Don't think you're important. I guess it's time to say goodbye and leave for the time being. Why don't we just pop all of our Pokemon and prevent them from the oh, yeah. Team Galactic. They were saying they had to gather Pokemon and energy no matter what. It was for creating a new universe, or so they claimed. Nothing they said made any sort of sense to me. I can't tell you how grateful I am for you saying me. I can finally see my little daughter again. Behold, Papa, here Papa. she is. Yuck, Papa, you're stinky. Go shower now, stinky. Rude. Oh, sorry. <laughs> they had me working nonstop. Thank you, trainer. You made those bad people go away. I think the balloon Pokemon will come visiting again. Fuck! Exactly, Malaga. I was just gonna say that. Like, so, so, what they've suggested is they came here and took energy away with them. Right. In, like, big-ass batteries. Correct. Which is perhaps the stupidest shit I've ever heard. <laughs> Yeah, all, all very good. I see no problems. All right, well... Oh, fuck, I forgot. Well, I mean, we can't do anything about it. Nah, apparently it only goes to one. So, unless Molly guy is doing us a bamboozle. Oh, fuck. It's Looker. Ah, oh, yes, it is you, yes. I have heard the Team Galactic appeared at this power plant. I have, therefore, come running. So, the Team Galactic, where are they? You have run them off, you say? You are a trainer, but... Very well, I shall go investigate inside. We're locked in here. We can't move. Magnificent! Yes, it is! What you have told me, it is all true. Superb! Though you are young, you are a trainer through and through. Very well. I shall pursue the culprits. I have received tips that the Team Galactic hideout is in an eternal city. There, to there, I must be off! Bye! I forgot that Looker also... plays a significant role in this game. I forgot to read off all of the items in the last place we were in. The valley one works. So I'm gonna do it now, just in case you wanted to know. Uh, like 16 honey overall. One miracle how seed. How much is it accessible in the first area that we can get to right now? Because a lot of it we can't. Uh, the in oh, hang on. Nothing is accessible. It's all requires surf. Well. Because it's all under the heading, requires surf. <laughs> I see. So anyways. Here's Wonderwall. Just making sure that tree's not shaking, because we slapped some honey on there. You're my Wonderwall. Okay, now we can catch something on this route, I believe. We can. We can also fight some guys. Let's use no twiggity. Hell uh, yeah. I don't know. Waste doof is getting the fuck behind. 
If you saw sweet honey on a sweet smelling tree, Pokemon may be attracted to that sweet scent. That guy said sweet three times. He needs to stop. He needs to be stopped. Oh, hey, Weasel. It's, Boy, we're getting a lot of water types, huh? <laughs> weasel? No Twiggity. Behold our Twiggity. No doubt. And you, you cannot have any of it. <laughs> there shall be no Twiggity. <laughs> <laughs> there hasn't been Twiggity in 20 moons. <laughs> and there shan't be for 20 more. <laughs> Mr. <Mystical. laughs> A uh, short, a uh, short, uh, dramatic film, but it's just Severus Snape <laughs> saying the lyrics of "No Diggin," "No Twiggity," "No Doubt." <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's really good, <laughs> Mister Potter. <laughs> you have any name of the weasel? Oh. Hell yeah! What should we name this? What should we name this weasel? lovely weasel lady? Boisel. <laughs> oh, Molly guy. You scamp. Mm. Uh, mm, weasel. So it's like a weasel. Yep. What's a famous <laughs> weasel? Uh, we could name it P.S. Weasel after one of the people I stream with on some days. <laughs> and I would feel bad about putting them in the garbage, though. What about Buck? The weasel from Ice Age Dawn of the Dinosaurs. <laughs> I feel it's, this is a female weasel as well. Damn. Yeah, that gets rid of all the famous weasels I know. Uh. We could name it after uh, a Weasley. We were just talking about Harry Potter. It could be Ginny. <laughs> yes. It could be Ginny Weasley. A kilometers per hour. Because it's got tails. Ginny Boy. Kilometers per hour is pretty silly. I like it. Now, I do like Ginny, even though I don't remember how to spell it. <laughs> you want me to Google it? No. <laughs> I'm so confident. Because I'm pretty sure that's. There's definitely no E in there. <laughs> there is, I think. There is. There's not. Hey, how about you and me battle before I go into the Eterna Forest? Okay. I was going to say, like, you were putting it all in, and I'm like, that looks right, and then you threw an E in there. And I went, <laughs> huh? Huh? E? Oh no. <laughs> uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> We've made a mistake. Quickly, to our rock. <laughs> Retreat. I take back my Twiggity. <laughs> no, Twiggity. <laughs> <laughs> Some doubt. A healthy amount of doubt, I think. <laughs> we don't have anything to back it up. Rock throw. Okay, good. I was I was kind of concerned it might have a fighting move. <laughs> it seems my concern was not needed. Yep. Spelled Ginny Weasley. Yeah, I, got, I was close. Listen, I don't give a dick about J.K. Rowling no more. That phase of my life is behind me since she became rough. <laughs> rough to associate with. Shall we say. Like how like how the wizards pooped themselves, apparently. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like, in addition to all the, like, all the fucking post-emptive incl inclusion, which is just, like, a, a dumb way to do it. A, yeah. a dumb, bad way to do inclusiveness is to make it just be like, yeah, they were totally that the whole time. Totally. <laughs> That's a stupid, dumb way to do that. Don't do that. Uh... Short for Genevra. <laughs> no, sorry, Genevra. Which is equally stupid. Yeah, in addition to that, and in addition to... Uh, I don't remember exactly what it was, but I'm pretty sure she's made some, like, transphobic remarks at some point, which I'm not a fan of. Uh, and also, in addition to wizards just shit themselves, I guess. <laughs> because they can. <laughs> okay, so here's my personal story with that. <clears throat> so, I had been hearing inklings just, like, around Twitter that people were, like, 
uh, varying degrees of annoyed to upset with J.K. Rowling, and I yep. had no idea what was going on until I saw someone retweeted from the Pottermore <laughs> official Twitter that before plumbing was introduced in the 1800s, the wizards simply relieved themselves where they stood and magicked it away. And I went, oh my god, the wizards shit themselves. <laughs> <laughs> they just walk around. Sake, it's just pooping. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's zippo zappo zappo. The poop is gone. <laughs> and then the, part of the problem is I'm kind of mad because I can't guarantee that I would not do that if I could. Like if you gave me the power to magic away my own feces. I might take you up on that, but no, I don't want to think about people doing it. I don't want to think about other people doing it. When I did more fucking, arguments for the dungeon, yeah, that's it. Elvis Dumbledore's walking around as a young spry <laughs> lad, just shitting himself. Because he's never heard of plumbing. <laughs> <laughs> just, just shitting themselves. It's so stupid. Like they don't even they don't even go into a room to quietly shit themselves. It's just wherever they are. You're talking to Frank over there, and then suddenly it makes place. Hang on. He's <laughs> Sorry, sorry, happen. Bill. Just give me one second. <laughs> do, they, do, they, do they magic the smell away? <laughs> or does it smell it's like shit too. for a second, or, and then do it doesn't have, anymore? I assume they have to wait until they're done <laughs> shitting to magic it away. So it's just like, <laughs> during the time that they're shitting. Oh god, my diaphragm. Oh god. I can no longer see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. <coughs> Wanna run down their legs? Oh, the, 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 Sarah's magic. They can just magic it. It's gone. They magic it all the way. All the poop goes. <laughs> it goes somewhere. <laughs> where is it? No one knows where. No one knows where the poop goes. You know what they say? Oh god, I'm actually- Someday I'm- Oh, my face hurts. We're terrified oh. for the day when we find out where it goes, or where it comes back all at once. <laughs> that is the- that is the most I've laughed in actual months. <laughs> and it was just because, saying out loud, that wizards just shit themselves, is so goddamn stupid. There was no re oh there was God. no reason that had to be. <laughs> there was no reason. Who, who in the history of the Harry Potter fandom was like, I really want more lore about the wizards <laughs> shitting. <themselves." laughs> I want to know how wizards shit. Like they didn't even shit in a bucket and then <laughs> magic it away. No, they <laughs> shit themselves. Like, that's still got to feel weird. Be fully clothed and relieving yourself. <laughs> On purpose. <laughs> <laughs> maybe this is oh, why wizards, maybe this is why witches were put on fucking trial. Because <laughs> they were nasty. <laughs> oh, speaking God. of Harry Potter, I finally did that Pottermore official quiz, and it confirmed my suspicions that I am a Hufflepuff. Yeah, same. <laughs> For when I was younger, I was like, I was like, nah, I'm not a Hufflepuff. I'm definitely a Ravenclaw. Fuck Hufflepuff. And then I got a little bit over, over older, and I went, no, I'm a Hufflepuff. I'm definitely a Hufflepuff. Oh shit! My favorite a controller. Thing, I mean, Chris uh, Stevens says duct tape man is not Josh, and that's it. Like, duct tape man used to shit himself. <laughs> yes, no, you see, he seals his butthole <laughs> closed with duct no, tape. No, don't make that canon. <laughs> no, he's never <laughs> shit ever. Don't. Careful of the things you say, because some people will take it seriously and never let it oh. go. See, there are people that are very Ravenclaw. Some of my friends are quite Ravenclaw, and I thought I was Ravenclaw. So I'm like, yeah, I'm like, I'm like a smart, nerdy sort of guy. And then I got a little bit older, and I was like, nah, I'm Hufflepuff. Nah, I'm just, <laughs> like, nah, I'm just, I'm just nice. I'm good I'm at finding here. stuff. The good five from natural fighters. Whatever that means. Yep, just like Jontron, yeah. Hmm. 
Uh, anyways, what was Fucking I saying? Up. I don't even know. Dog. All right. It's been Huffle a full puff. Oh god. Um. Hufflepuff. Oh yeah, my favorite part of Hufflepuff lore is the fact that no one's ever found their like, their like, like, whatever they call those things. Their like house headquarters. Right. Like no one's ever, no one's ever found it, other than Hufflepuffs. Like they're, they're the only ones that know where it is. It's just like in the barrel in the kitchen. There's like one barrel that's a fake barrel, and you rap on it in a certain rhythm, and then it opens and you crawl inside. It's like a nice half underground like burrow thing, like a hobbit home. Is that true? Or are you making yeah. that up? No! That's the, from the official Pottermore quiz. I read about it. I see. It the, sounds lovely, uh, frankly. Again, more lore that's completely unnecessary and not in any of the books. It's not relevant. What, you don't need it? <laughs> yeah, but at least that lore didn't make me, you know, <laughs> question my sanity. It wasn't like, <laughs> and then all the Hufflepuffs <laughs> shit themselves. Where they God. stood. That's where all like, I, that that's where all the poop goes. It goes to the secret Hufflepuff <laughs> headquarters because no one knows where it is. They find all the poop. <laughs> oh God, we uh. found it all. <laughs> See, Molly guy, clearly you're just uh, you're just a, a multi-talented, multi-talented Molly guy, Molly guy. You've got many characteristics. Also, my Patronus is a husky. Husky what? I assumed it would be big. I was I what to expect I, for that I, one. I debate to myself before I make jokes sometimes. And that one I was like, mm, this one might be a little mean. And then I said <laughs> I it like anyway. It a lot. It's really good. But yeah, I I, I, I I literally had no idea. It was just also there and I had five minutes to kill. So I did that quiz too, and it's like a husky, and I'm like, I guess huskies are right. I've learned that huskies are kind of like little crapheads though, from watching videos. They're like pretty smart dogs, and they're like really, uh, they like they like don't like doing stuff they don't want to do. It sounds like they me. just like complain about it. They like whine a lot. They're like, wah, wah, wah. that's the noise a husky makes. <laughs> <laughs> So my Patronus would just be summoned, be annoyed that I'm shitting myself, <laughs> and then disappear. <laughs> hey man, they save so much money on toilet paper. By not using it <laughs> after they've shit themselves. By not using it ever, frankly. <laughs> Why do they even have bathrooms at Hogwarts? <laughs> Oh, because the, eventually, the, a bath, like, eventually somebody will thing, hide. Right? Eventually somebody will hide a fucking, uh, fuck. What was it? Troll? No. Oh. Fuck. What was the monster? It was a, somebody will hide a basilisk in it someday. Yeah, that's yeah, why yeah. they need the bathroom. There was like two bathroom scenes in the first hair. See, that's another weird thing. Why was she so dead set on disproving the bathroom history if the bathrooms are featured so heavily in the series? They like fight that troll in that in the girls' bathroom, and then there's like another thing in that other bathroom. Yeah, so that was our all over the goddamn place. The whatever of Slytherin is just in a bathroom in the girls' bathroom. So what happened was at some point someone came to Hogwarts. I assume from the outside. Maybe it was someone who was like half Muggle or something, and they went, "Why do you all shit yourselves <laughs> when there's plumbing?" And then all the wizards who had been shitting themselves for years <laughs> went, "What the fuck is plumbing?" Be decided that then it would be a good idea to go to the bathroom instead and not magic away the feces. Wah wah wah, I'm out of Pokemon that can go. <laughs> My Pokemon <sighs> don't go no more, they died. <laughs> My Pokemon were full of go and then they stopped. But I will, I will say this. Trying to your bag, I'm going to appropriate pockets. And sometimes they disappear for no reason. I have not talked about Harry Potter so much as I have since J.K. Rowling tweeted that they shit themselves. <laughs> so I guess it worked. As a marketing stunt, I can't I can't fault it. <laughs> oh, please throw a Geo, dude. So we can no twiggity it. Well, that works. The bad news. Oh, we don't have no twiggity here. <laughs> bad news. No twiggity is getting a bit higher in level. 
We could uh, great kale it. Eh, we could rock smash it. Oh yeah. The last thing we fought just didn't bother using any attacking moves on it. It used tail lip like three times. Oh. We're gonna swap now though. Well, Rock... Because we're doing like seven damage. Yeah, Rock Smash didn't do as much as I thought it would. Uh, I mean, no Togedi is probably still fine. We can just Great Kale, I think. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I was still inside. Yeah. Why couldn't she have just not explained the lore of bathrooms? Of wizard at shit at all? Yeah, she didn't need to do that. <laughs> Like, isn't no that one, one of the no things... No one was asking about wizard shit. I mean, like, that's one of the things that, like, most stories just leave out, right? Is shit. They don't... You know? They don't talk about like, going to the bathroom because it's just not good. It's it's not fun. It's not good. It's just... It's just, like, a, a thing people don't enjoy doing. Why is it here in my fantasy world? I don't want to think about the characters having... having lost having his way, the trainer <laughs> lost the battle, too. Now there's a battle girl coming up, so I'm gonna do something unprecedented. I'm gonna prepare. <laughs> that doesn't sound right. Have we caught something How did on you this know round? She had yeah, we we caught a weasel here, and also weasel. We haven't run into anything we haven't caught, so. Oh, this isn't the. This is the person. Oh yeah, this is the route. Okay, I see. There's a. Oh, there's a piplup coming up. Hooray! <laughs> Middle Earth poop lord. Ah yeah. Jay. J.R.L. Tolkien rises from the grave just to tweet about how the hobbits shit he themselves makes, makes in He makes a Twitter account hole. first, because I'm pretty sure he's been dead since before the dawn of Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And his first and only tweet explains how Gandalf the Grey used to shit himself. The, um, his first and only tweet is that the denizens of Middle-earth are incapable of shitting. <laughs> they just don't do it. None of them can do it. Where does the second breakfast go? Who knows? They're so the stomachs of Middle Earthians are so efficient that they leave behind no waste. Ooh, that's incredible. We're not, not gonna on, learn double team and be the worst. No. Damn. Attack moves only. I I concede. I think you're on a different level. Yes. No, we're on the same one. I used to we be were... lower, but I took some stairs. Huh. I was gonna say we're actually at a lower level than you, so not technically incorrect. Is this a heal house? Repels are yeah, useful. Yeah, it's gotta be. Look at that bed right there. Rest a while, yes. You and your Pokemon look completely refreshed. Thank you. I put a lot of work into it. No, I feel like I had another point to discuss, but I've been really sidetracked about this whole wizards pooping themselves thing. Yeah, no, I. I, anything that mm. may have come up before now is just gone. Many times, poison type. I didn't buy any antidotes. What should I do? Oh, fuck. We don't have any antidotes. Wait, well, hold on. Don't we run into a person who heals our Pokemon? Maybe. Hello, my name's Cheryl. And, oh, fuck. I should give you a voice. Hello, my name's Cheryl. And you are. Oh, so your name is Kashira. I'm sincerely glad to meet you. Kashira, may I ask a big favor of you? I want to get through this forest, but I'm afraid of doing it alone. I've heard that there is a sinister group of people called Team Galactic about. I think there'd be safety in numbers. Please, may I go with you? Mm. Gashira decided to go with Cheryl, I, I guess. I'll keep your Pokemon in perfect health. Yeah, so this is fine. Hmm. Let's catch we are. We are a little low level, I think. Do we want to grind for a bit while we have this auto heal with us? Oh, but all. Oh, that's true. Oh uh, fuck, we can. O we also can't catch anything right now. I realize. Well, I say we have our choice. Do we want Badu or Baneri? Probably. Uh... Mm. I don't know. I feel like we Badoo? could. We don't need a grass type. We got one. We don't. Baneri learns some, like, cool moves. Hey. I mean, fuck it. You've swayed me. And now I won't die in one turn. Oh, fuck. 
never miss, huh? Oh yeah, so that was the thing I was gonna talk about. Why the fuck? Ago. Oh, upsetting. We got poisoned. We got poisoned. Babe, babe. Oh, oh, good. Now we, now we can't accidentally kill you. Poison. Chancy, heal me. Babe. Well, I was talking about earlier about how I've been forgetting stuff because I'm busy with trying to remember work things. You remember and taxes. I realized today that I still <coughs> hadn't applied for graduation. I was like, I should probably do that soon. Well, it turns out that's been an option since like the fall semester started back in like frickin' September. Oh, so you could have just applied for graduation at any point and then you didn't. Yes, I applied today, but there's like no feedback. Like they don't even send you an email saying we got your application. So I guess I have to check. Uh huh. I mean, uh -huh. let's just call uh -huh. it what it is. I thought you were gonna say furry trash, and I was gonna agree with that too. So you know we're on similar wavelengths. <laughs> I mean, that was nothing that I just did. <laughs> You said we're solid under level, so what level should we be up to? Well, the trainers at the end have like level 17s. Okay, so we should get up to 17. Yeah, it's like 13, uh, 11, 13, 15, 16, 17, 17, 11, 13, 15, 14, 14, 17, 17. Boy, something hit us really hard in one turn, huh? Yes. Why? Oh, low bunny. That sure is a bunny person. Pokemon. Anyways. This topic so. makes Josh uncomfortable. Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> it's less that I don't have any, like, any feedback on it. You know? It's kind of like when my brother and dad talk about cars, and I'm like, I understand you're very, you are very, you like cars a lot. But I have nothing to add to this conversation. <laughs> Josh, because I know Josh, nothing of cars. Josh being not a furry has nothing to add to this furry discussion. I'm just over here like, ah yes, they oh, have fuck. the fur. Joe 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 is evolving. They are the animal. I need to get ready to evolve it. We've got a hot question in the chat for you. What's your opinion on opening? Good. It's a good opinion. <laughs> now, does that mean my opinion of, is positive or that my opinion is just a good one to have? Who knows? <laughs> I do. No one Fuck! Knows. Why is it so loud? Anyway, Jojo 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 has evolved. Jojo 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 This is kind of a fun idea, actually. Where we they just, like, we just here's grind. a random lady who's here. She'll now. heal your Pokemon, bye! Does is she heal after every fight or something, or what? Yeah, yes. Nice! That has been the case so far. And it's all double battles, that's cool. That's a yeah. cool idea. They should do that again sometime. Yeah, I mean, you're not supposed to just use it to grind, but you know. <laughs> when life gives you... An God. Egg, that explosion's a little too real on Egg Bomb. I don't like that. There's just a straight up grenade in there. <laughs> Chansey, are you you good? Chansey's dig digestive system produces exclusively bombs. <laughs> that's that's terrifying. <clears throat> but yeah, so I got a little worried, right? Because I was looking at the one of my uh, school's web pages, and it was like. If you graduate in May, which I am, uh, deadline December 1st. And I went, hmm. So then I, like, called someone. And it was really awkward because I, I called the person that was listed for graduation. And I'm like, hey, I'm, you know, I'm Josh. Uh, oh, I just wanted to fly. know when I should grad when I should apply for graduation if I want to graduate in May. And, all she, and she was just like, yeah, well, it's been open for quite a while. So whenever. <laughs> that was it. 
That's all she said. And I went, oh, okay. Bye. <laughs> and then somewhere on another web page, it said, like, if as long as you apply before, like, April 19th, your name still comes in the commencement packet. And I'm not even doing the in-person stuff. <laughs> You're just getting I'm your like, degree and going. Yeah, yeah. I didn't sign up for any of that. I'm just having them mail it to me because... I already I did the whole walking and cap and gown stuff when I got my two year degree. Right. And frankly, I don't want to do it again. <laughs> you just don't. Yeah. And also, like, I work full time now, so like, I'd rather just not. Yeah. And it's the same thing. Like, I finally, I, my wisdom tooth has been bothering me for going on like six months now, and I just like yesterday made my appointment to do anything about it. <laughs> <clears throat> and that's after having my dentist appointment in January where she was like, yeah, you should definitely get that taken care of. Here's a recommendation for a surgeon. You just have to call and make an appointment. And then I did. <laughs> Dude, we can get a Rotom. Yeah, we can get a Rotom. Rotom. Yeah, so I have to look into like now that I have dental insurance. I have to look into scheduling an appointment for teeth cleaning. The big problem with that is just yeah. that, like, I frankly don't know when I would go in right now because I'm right now you booked. just wouldn't. Yeah, exactly. That's and like that, that was that was my thinking too. I'm like, well, we're still uh, we're still coming off of Christmas, which is why I can't do it right now because I just yeah. won't have time. And then I had yeah, like, like the last the last couple months have been like I have so much time off. I'm only working three days a week right now. Yeah, so like, <clears throat> that's something. And but then I just yeah, didn't I, make the appointment because I'm a lazy piece of shit and bad at making appointments. <laughs> yeah. I'm bad at doing but adult yeah. functions. By the way, it just so, did that much damage to a Chansey. Yeah, that's a little, little, a little scary. It's quite spooky in Paneri. But yeah, I, I'm just aiming to do a lot of stuff in like late April. <laughs> After deadlines. Right. Because like right now, like, like I don't get off work. Like I go in to work at like 8 a.m. and I'm at work until like 6 or 7 p.m. Right. So. Now is this mandatory overtime ATM or is this just you catching up on stuff? Uh. Hmm. That's an interesting question. So basically what happens is, um, so when you're going into a CPA firm, you just know you're going to be working long hours. That's just like, that's right. just like genuinely understood. Like no one disguises that. That's why a lot of firms do like try to do like fun stuff. Like we get lunches on Saturdays and the Thursdays, everyone gets a full size candy bar out of our candy bar bu bucket. <laughs> cool. It's just like fun stuff like that, and we we had we had like a we had a movie night like a week or a couple weeks ago. We like went we got pizza and then we all went out to see Spider Verse. That's how I oh, saw it through my work. That's nice, good movie. Yes, yeah. yeah, good movie. Uh, my one uh, manager, he was really like blown away by it. He's the one who set it up because it was like his turn to do the the fun night or whatever. Right. And you could tell in his email that he was a little like he was he was laying a little bit of groundwork just in case because he's like he's like we're gonna be kids again and go see this movie because it's like the highest grossing movie and it got like golden globes and stuff because people so still could, think animation is only for kids yes yeah so you could tell he's doing a little bit of that but like basically everyone thought it was great and yeah. he was like really blown away by it because he was like, it was yeah and i was like oh that was that was Mwah. i'm giving it Maddie my highest Pete. honor and purchasing it on blu-ray when it comes out I don't but, do that with any movies, so yeah, that's a pretty big honor. <laughs> I've yeah, been, I've been considering for the last two years picking up fucking Muppets Christmas Carol because I see <laughs> that we have it on DVD at work, and it's my favorite movie. It sure is. I can't believe you don't own it physically. Anyways, I watch it on but, Netflix every year or whatever. Yeah. So. So it's kind of just that's just sort of understood, and then. Uh, most everyone's salaried. <laughs> I'm not. I am hourly as right. an intern. Right. And then, once Someday. it gets to, yeah, 
that's happening in like August. But like, so once it gets to about this like sort of first, second-ish week in February, we have like a big meeting and that's where they officially say, hey, it's busy season <laughs> o'clock, hey, everyone. Hey, shit's gonna suck for a bit. So everyone should be, they give you like a goal of like billable hours, which means that it's hours you're spending on a specific client. Uh, just like hours spent doing like odds and ends stuff like you know you go and you like get some staples or whatever that sort of stuff like you don't count that right uh <clears throat> so they give you like a like a amount of hours that you're supposed to be hitting but it's not like the end of the world if you don't get there if you're consistently like if there's just no work for you to do there's no work for you to do but if you're like consistently falling short of charge hours and like other people are working a lot of hours, then they might be like, hey, come on, come on. Come on, man. What are you doing? So it's great for me right now because I, I do I do get overtime, which means uh, per hour I'll be making uh, a healthy. That, that chance he just kill stealed me and I, did, I want you to know that. <laughs> just It just took the last hit. For no reason. Yeah, Malaga, not all animation is for kids. Not even all of the animations. I would argue that some animation is definitely not for kids. Berserk, like not for wild kids. Kratz. <laughs> Berserk, probably not for kids. I did like Berserk. I don't show that to me. And I'm like an I adult. I don't like the second series as much, though. Because it seemed the, a little the bad animated lazy. one, <laughs> the bad <laughs> animated one you didn't like, the one yes. that was really bad. <laughs> yeah. Hot topic. What's that? The the T the T emote on Twitter. <laughs> the bad berserk was bad. <laughs> Let's just fucking everybody get your fucking pitchforks out. We're coming for berserk from three years ago. God, has it been that long? It, probably Damn. not, but it has been a bit. Why? God, I'm, I'm so behind on literally watching anything. Kanojo x Kanojo x Kanojo. That's just girl x girl x girl, and I don't know what that is. I'm assuming it's porn based on the way he's phrased it. Now, I don't know that, but I do know I'm going into incognito where I Google <laughs> oh, yeah. it. Now, Josh, going into incognito mode for whom? Because you're the only one that lives in your house. Wait. You're right. <laughs> Nobody's Why gonna... am I doing this? <laughs> I mean, I still do it too, but like... Maybe it just makes I don't me have feel to. <laughs> I don't have it's to. A... Okay, Wikipedia. Kanojo x Kanojo x Kanojo is a game. Yep. It's the type of game you think it is. <laughs> oh, it's an arrow game. By the way, a fucking arrow game publisher just followed me on Twitter today. Huh. So that's cool. So you finally made I've it. I've made it, yes. Can't that's marvelous. Kill a Baneri. Uh oh. Oh, that's fine. It's not me. I thought that was on me. Jesus. <laughs> Holy shit. These Vaneers are not fucking around anymore. Now, wouldn't Karate Chop be better? Yes, but I was hoping that Chansey would hit the other one. I was just trying to finish uh, him off. This is a really great place for grinding. It sure is. It was nice of Berserk <laughs> to censor itself by making the animation so bad no one would watch it. Yeah. But speaking of that, I haven't watched, like, a show in, like, half a year now. And I'm so massively behind in, like, things I'd planned to do. Like, I haven't watched My Hero Academia Season 3. Or Season 2 of Seven Deadly Sins. I haven't caught that out of control or, yet, either. <clears throat> or even, like, some of the other Netflix things I was going to watch. Like, I was going to watch that She-Ra cartoon. Right. Because there was a lot of hubbub going on about that. Uh, and People I was gonna watch. To enjoy it. There's some other Netflix thing called Hilda that looked interesting. Also, there's a new Carmen San Diego now. Uh, I've heard less than good things about that one. 
Okay, I had no idea where what it was trying to do because like you know how when you like are on uh, Netflix now like it'll sometimes play like a trailer if you're just hovering something right So it just played the trailer for Carmen San Diego and I could not figure out if they were aiming for like more a more kid audience or more Not kid audience. I like I had no idea Because like I mean you can split the uprights on that if you really try Yeah, you can but I, I, I was just like, like, I was like, what are you going for? Also, Malaga did want us to know that that was a giga joke, and that he did not come up with that she originally. She does have Dora. She does. But I don't know. Probably I really not hope gonna Chansey bother kills that, but do. Oh, also apparently there's like a Mob Psycho season two now. Yeah, it's really good. Well, I hope so, because the first season was magnificent. I really I like enjoyed Mob it Psycho. A lot. I, I, I really dare good. say I like Mob Psycho more than I like One Punch Man. I definitely came to that conclusion that myself. The f like when I watched, because I watched One Punch Man, and then I watched Mob Psycho 100 Season 1, and I was like, you know what? I think I like this more. And now that it's had some time to sit and roomiate, I'm like, yeah. Nah, I definitely liked no. Mob Psycho more. Yeah, I mean, I don't think I don't think One Punch Man is bad or anything. I just oh, I love One Punch Man. Fucking Mob like, Psycho was really good. I the characters in Mob Psycho are just real good. Mob's whole yeah. story is just real good. <laughs> yeah, it's just even better. It's like it's like going to the bathroom in a toilet versus <laughs> shitting yourself and magicking it away. Either way, either great. way works. But there's one that's definitely a better thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> and that decision's up to you. <laughs> which one is which? Uh. I know what our thumbnail is going to be. <laughs> <laughs> I think we talked about it for like 30% of the episode. Oh, well, I can just murder this bird. But uh, the long hours is basically is part of the reason too that like a lot of people uh, just go into like public accounting for like three to five years. And then they they dip. They look for like a corporate job that's like more consistent right. in its hours. I mean, what do you do as an accountant for most of the year? Account, I imagine. <laughs> well, we do have a lot of fiscal year-end clients, uh, which means because you can have your uh, your like your calendar year basically. Or your fiscal year end whenever you want, so, like at the end of any month. So like you you can say like our year it goes from September uh, from October first to September thirtieth. So so there are we some corporations that just do that for whatever. Yeah, reason. there's a lot, a lot actually. A lot of the bigger C corps are like nine thirty year end clients. So. So there's some of that. Now I don't entirely know. I'll know more in summer, but I would imagine it's just that. And like, we have a lot of returns that get extended. So we, you work on extended returns. Uh, specifically, one of the things that I'm going to be starting to learn about is provisions, uh, which is basically so like when, when a corporation uh, does its like year end books, they have to like come up with financial reports. And those financial reports have to include taxes on them, right? Makes sense. But they haven't done their taxes yet, oh. so they don't know what it is. Oh. So to help get that sort of at least estimate or reasonable number, they do what they call provisions. So I'm going to be working on that. Which is just a, um, bu a bunch of math, I bet. It's a, bu bunch, so it's a lot of accounts. Uh, and so I would imagine that there's a lot of like tax planning and like working on that getting that sort of stuff set up Over summer and winter But who knows you can also yeah, it's, There's it's, just always something I, to do now I, I realize we spent most of our video game Nuzlocke stream talking about wizards shitting themselves and, <laughs> and, ta and Taxes so like our audience has got to be like is gonna end up being the wackest shit someday because we have the weirdest subset of people on this show. <laughs> we sure do. Come to our Nuzlocke run where we're gonna talk about anime, taxes, <laughs> wizards shitting themselves, taxes Sometimes again, <laughs> taxes again. 
Yeah. I don't know, just, I don't know, learning about new things fascinates me. It is really interesting. Oh, fuck. That's not good. Oh, or no! You can move to a tax haven. Ah, but tax havens are harder to operate now if you plan on still working in the United States. Because of the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act, which has a lot of uh, new rules in it that are meant to clamp down on people that are just shifting their assets overseas but still continuing to work mostly in the U.S. They're getting them. Well, they're trying, trying to. They're trying to real hard. So, There's a lot of some, confusing stuff with referrals. Something tells me that one might not be around much longer. <laughs> the one thing that I will say for sure about the reform uh, is that... I keep on trying new, to leave. The new individual form for taxes is the wonkiest, silliest thing I've seen. So the form is the 1040, right? That's like your individual tax return. Right. And originally it was two full pages, just two eight, eight and a half by 11s of, of text, right? Yep. It was two pages. If you had schedules, there were more pages, right? So there's schedules like A, B, C, et cetera, et cetera. Right. But the main form was just two pages and they really wanted to, and Trump campaigned uh, sort of on this idea of getting it down to a postcard size. That seems crazy. That didn't happen, mind you. Uh, the countries that do have, like, postcard tax returns are countries that are completely backwards. Uh, like, I think Sweden's one, maybe, where the, go the government does your taxes, and then they send you the tax form for you to, like, review and reconcile. Right. So it's like... Uh-oh. So, which I mean, either way, I guess is... Wow, that's close. <laughs> yeah, that's why I said uh-oh. It used frustration. I was worried about it. Rightfully so, I think. Anyway, so, yeah, whatever, taxes, something. So the new 1040, right? Uh, so they tried to reduce it, obviously, because they're trying to get, you know, right. they're trying to make it simpler. They're trying to simplify it was part of the idea. So it's still two pages, mm -hmm. but now it's only the top half of each page. Wait. So, yes. So it's so one it, about one half of a page and then half of a blank page. It seems, it seems as though they could have reconciled this in a different way, perhaps. It seems as though they could have saved half as much favor to maybe put it on one page, it seems. Correct. <laughs> but they did not do that. So it's two, it's like two half pages, or maybe Fucking slightly over what? half. Does the, does the halfway page on the... Not, does the blank part just say notes and then a big blank? Or is it just nothing? No, it's just nothing. What the... Why? <laughs> Is it because it would look ridiculous if they put it all on one page and then there were like two lines on the next page? Because if they're oh, still going to use two that's pages... That's a great segue, because you've, uh, <laughs> you've helped me lead right into this. Okay, so yes, I've even pulled up the form to double check that I'm not insane. It's just half of a page about, and then a half a blank page. Mm -hmm. So now, instead, now they've added schedules one through six, which are brand new. So if you have eligible things, events going on, you now have to fill out extra schedules that are each a page. And one of those, I think it's schedule four, is about three or four lines. And that's it. So it's like three inches of, of actual content. On page two? And the rest of the page. No, 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 on schedule four, which is a brand new thing. It's a different page entirely. Yes. So now if you did if you filled out a 1040, you now could fill out a 1040 and schedules 1 through 6 in the same amount which of is, space, which is 8 pages. Mm. Now. Okay. Well, it but seems each like schedule seems like they did a page. bad job of making it shorter, huh? Yes. <laughs> Cuz each schedule is now its own page and one of those pages is like 3 inches of actual stuff and then the rest is blank. Fantastic. What a good job has been done. 
Like, it's it's wonky. Also, I went down a tax bracket this year. Eh. Eh. <laughs> eh. I'm pretty sure that's not a good thing. Just based on my understanding of math. Going down a tax bracket? Yeah. It means that I believe that, that means I have made l less money this year. Yes, but they also reworked the tax brackets. I believe my tax consultant did tell me something about that. Yeah, because uh, the brackets, the brackets they went down. God, these schedules are bad, man. Like each of these schedules, I'm looking at schedules one through six. Each one's like a fourth of a page, and then the rest is just blank. Why did they not just reconcile these? To, did they have to be in different forms? Oh, there it is. Schedule six. Schedule six is literally like three inches. It's like the header that all the pages have. Right. The name shown on 1040, a your foreign address, and a name of your third party designee. And that's it. That's, that's all it has on it. This is... This For is... Paperwork Reduction Act Notice, see your tax return instruction. They really did... They really did pass that Paperwork <laughs> Reduction Act, didn't they? Yeah, it seems... Hmm. Seems like they may not know what reduction means, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> seems like they, they have a strange definition of what less is compared to more. But another thing that was interesting... Uh, recently, the news come out uh, that, like, uh, there is people are, there are some people that are uh, on social media and they're annoyed because their tax return is less than it has been. Yeah, I have heard but, that. But it wasn't the case for me personally. I believe mine was actually more, but I also did go down a tax bracket, so I don't know if that has anything to do with it. Yes, it does. But here's the thing, and so I I read this news initially. I like I read the story of like how the the tax the ta like the average return was down and people are annoyed about it and I immediately thought to myself I'm like well that's probably just because they were just withholdings and then on NPR they like had brought someone on who said the same thing so I was you felt, vind felt vindicated yeah well because basically what happened was and I know because I was working taxes last year too during this time uh when they low when the new tax rules came out basically companies lowered the amount they withheld off of people's paychecks so your paychecks your like net pay was actually your larger your pay is going up by some margin that you probably didn't even notice but right the amounts you're being Which, taxed is less <laughs> yes and so if you're being if they're withholding less like let's say your withholding went down 20 bucks uh so now at the end of the year that's 20 bucks per paycheck that you were at already gotten that you're now not going to be getting all at once in later. Your refund. Yeah. yes so it's actually better to have your money ahead of time just based on the fact that money's more valuable the earlier you get it right but people get used to having a certain like refund every year yeah people get used to having an extra amount that they no longer have to scrap from paycheck to paycheck to have yeah so i feel like that's probably the uh the culprit for a lot of these people because i myself yeah damn i'm gonna take my money uh i myself had two jobs each paid about this uh, almost exactly the same like they were doing on a couple hundred dollars of how much they paid over gross pay because i just got my w-2s right uh and one of them withheld like an extra $500 over the other because one happened like in the first half of the year, the other one happened in the second half, basically. So, that's, uh, that's probably, how that works. Probably just something most people didn't consider. I mean, it still sucks because yeah. I'm sure th I'm sure the company didn't say, hey, we're, t we're withholding less of your taxes now. So like, this is how that'll affect you. I'm sure that conversation never happened. Yeah, or if it did, it was, like, mailed to people, and they didn't read it. Yeah, they, <laughs> they ignored it like I do all mail from my job. Yeah. Speaking of, I need to get around to my taxes. I have all my forms, but... <laughs> when you do taxes all day, you don't want to go home when and you do, do taxes. When you do taxes all day. <laughs> now I'm home, and I gotta do taxes. <laughs> oh, man. 
But hey, at least you didn't have to pay somebody to do your taxes. Now, granted, I paid like $39 for my taxes and I got like a thousand <laughs> something back. So like, I don't care. I would much rather pay yeah. a tax professional to do that job, which is why you, people like you exist. That's true. I don't, I don't I, trust myself to not fuck up. Though I am, uh, we, though I am in a bit of a different niche than the, uh, than the individual focused people, like the H&R Block people. Right. Because the firms like H&R Block are more focused on lots of 1040s, and firms like where I work for are much more focused on, like, companies. We do, we do still do a lot of individuals, but it tends to be, like, people that own the companies more right. more so because they like we do we like we'll go through their company and we'll say like this is how much the company is gonna pay you and now we're gonna do your taxes because <laughs> we already have like the, you already have it all on hand we have the detail yeah so but i do think i think that there's a decent i i wonder how many of the people i work with actually do their own taxes I think some of them probably don't because this because they've got a lot going on and it would take them a lot of time to try to figure it out. <laughs> right. Huh. Interesting. Fascinating. Fascinating. What what a what a what a zany world we live in full of tax law. Tax law that most people will never understand, including me, even though they probably should. Yeah, well, I mean, if it makes you feel any better, there's a lot that tax professionals don't understand <laughs> about the new tax law, because it's kind of wild. Like, they just, like, the, some, some of the stuff, man, it's just crazy. Like, there's this whole thing happening now where, like, what they the tried to, that? basically, part of the tax code tried to put a limit on how much companies could like pay their employees for parking what okay so let me backpedal a little bit so like if you go to work in like let's say you work in a city and the it's company like pays park or something yeah and the, the company pays for you to use your parking ramp well then the company gets to deduct that on their taxes and the government was like well really you shouldn't be able to deduct that because that's sort of like an employee benefit that they're right. getting there's parking for free that you're paying for it. So, okay. But the problem is that applies to parking lots, too. Mm. Out, like, here in the middle of nowhere. Everywhere. Mm. So now it's this whole fiasco of, like, you have to, like, try to apportion the amount that you spend on, like, parking lot expenses to the employees' parking spots. And you can't deduct that chunk of them. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, it, I mean, at first it was like, yeah, that makes sense, because if it's a benefit, then they shouldn't be able to claim it, because it's what that's what benefits are, I'm pretty sure. But then when it applies, yeah. when it applies to parking lots of like, <laughs> that seems a little whack. <laughs> exactly. So, hmm. who knows? That's, <laughs> hmm. but that's the current. That's what we got to work with right now. So, like, there's just a lot of taxes, honestly, is just, like, people much smarter than I. And maybe someday I'll get there. Uh, trying to figure out what the hay barrels is going on. <laughs> and you're just like, okay. Because, yeah, like, I almost had to... I, I actually... So I printed off a bunch of these uh, state returns to go to processing. And it was like, oh, I don't know give or take 300 pages mm. uh so like a fat stack like a whole <laughs> big old school phone book uh and then they're like yeah so we have to actually ch make changes to those and i was like so oh. these have to go in the shred bin huh and they're like yes <laughs> so i put them in my little box that like you fill up and then you dump it in the shred bin all at once uh, and then one of my other the guy one of the other guys who sits behind me he was a really smart guy. He was like, he's like, I don't know if that actually does the thing that they think it does. And I was like, does it? And then while I was talking to them again, they're like, oh, wait, it doesn't do that thing. And I was like, all right. <laughs> so I got to I take them, shred them out of the shred box. <laughs> yeah, I just like, I got to take them out of the shred box and put them back on my desk. And I was like, there they are. 
<laughs> this is taking up room now. <laughs> Curses. Because because basically it was something on the federal level that they thought was going to like alter the numbers that would go to the state returns, but it doesn't. Because it's it's only it's something on the federal form that will only go to the the owner directly. Cuz some business stuff goes like through the tax form and like does a bunch of stuff before it goes to the owner, but some just goes right to the owner directly. Hmm. Basically. We've had a fascinating hey. tax discussion while I spent the last like 30 minutes grinding. <laughs> Yeah, I kind of get carried away on that. This is no, just what I do for a living. So yeah, I no, talk I, I, about it. I am, I am genuine. I don't know about our audience per se, but I am genuinely <laughs> interested to know about these things because not learning about things I don't know about fascinates me. Yeah, even, it's interesting. Even if it's tax codes. <laughs> <laughs> As I've gotten older, I've been, I've just gotten more interested in talking to people. I'm like, huh? <laughs> so there's a reason your parents always do that. Cause like I go to family gatherings, I'm just talking to people about stuff. Like I was hanging out with one of my friends, and um, we were talking, and he's starting a new job at like a, like a sort of like a, a calling place, like where like, a like call they, center. Yeah, basically, uh, where they base specifically they like work at collecting medical debts, mm. of which there's a lot. I, so I bet. Yeah. <laughs> Given so, the state of our uh, medical system. <laughs> if, if the thumbnail for this VOD doesn't include taxes in some way, I'll be disappointed. <laughs> yeah, so, but I was just talking to him, and, like, it's fascinating. Like, normally we talk about video games, but I, I just was talking to him about this job they started, and I was like, oh, this is so cool. And, like, I wanted to know all about what he's going to be doing and stuff. And there's. You know, it's just very interesting. And there's some overlap there just because we both work in offices now. Right. I wonder there's if there's just some things that are similar. I wonder if it's just like a thing of like, I wonder if it's a combination of like, as you get older, you don't want to stop like obtaining new information. You want to continue learning and growing and shit. And also you just get so fucking lonely and have no one to talk to sometimes when you live by yourself. <laughs> it's probably... I'm gonna go with prob a hard probably. As you become an adult, all of your friends that you usually talk to slowly start getting out of contact, and then you're like, oh, I don't get to talk to people very much. Let me offload yeah. everything onto the first person I come in contact with. Yeah, so... Yeah, but it's interesting, interesting <gasps> stuff. Ooh. That was as interesting as this, so yeah. <laughs> Oh fuck, I need to get the stream ready. Shit. Every time I click evolve to it crashes the Pokemon team display thing that I use. <laughs> and then like ten then twenty seconds later it'll loudly play the Pokemon's cry and update the thing. Ways to have evolved into a Beeberl. Wants to learn water. God <laughs> fuck! There it is. <laughs> It's so loud, Josh, you don't understand. <laughs> Yay. Hooray. We done did it. Yay. Good job, Waste Oof. Still not done grinding. <laughs> uh, but now we can shoot water at our enemies. Behold. Our... Even doofier beaver. <laughs> it's even stupider now than it ever was before. <laughs> uh. Behold as it spits at you. <laughs> <laughs> and then the far more threatening thing throws an egg. <laughs> throws just an entire now, I, I, egg. I, I would not describe Chansey as threatening, but compared to Beaverl. <laughs> <laughs> and then Waste I die. has reached her final form. Roll out. Bonk. Autobots. Transform and roll out. Yeah, as much as I didn't want this to be a grinding stream, like, it was gonna happen at some point. And honestly, this is fine. 
Yeah. I bet I just talked about vaguely things that I do for money. Hooray! Yay. I could talk about I'm the things excited. that I do for money, but they're vastly uninteresting. Or this. <laughs> or the thing you're watching me do right now. Yeah? I technically get paid $5 a month to do this at the moment. Ooh. But that five dollars is from Swissy, so you know. Tax actually, no, actually no. Uh, actually no. Brandon is sub too, so I actually make like I think six or seven dollars a month. That calls for a double dab. I did it. I also did. <laughs> Beautiful. Two sad white boys dabbing to themselves in their <laughs> bedrooms alone at 1 a.m. I'll have you know, my entire house is, is empty and alone. <laughs> but it's okay, I get to have coffee tomorrow with uh, my boss. Mm, I wouldn't call that an okay situation in my experience, but... Oh no, it's great! I, I guess office bosses are somewhat less threatening than uh, yeah. retail bosses. No, they're great. And I I feel more. like I feel like if I fucked up an office if I fucked up like a breakfast with my boss, I would be like fired probably. Or if not fired, yeah, no. then slowly given less hours until I might as well be fired. I mean, to be fair, right now essentially everyone's my boss. Uh but <laughs> well, this is just uh, one of the uh managers was assigned as my coach. So he he uh, skyped me uh -oh. today. Cause we have Skype in the office, you know. Cause Skype. God. Uh, Wastoof's attack has gone up by a margin. That oh, was wow. a first level rollout. <laughs> Rollout's pretty cool. We have to consider that. We could talk about what they do for my, but then they'd be banned from. <laughs> oh I don't think it, guy. I don't think anything's stopping me from talking about it. I just wouldn't be able to demonstrate. <laughs> uh. Twitch doesn't take kindly to anime parodies, you see. That's not true. <laughs> but, uh... But yeah, so he basically Skyped me and he's like, You wanna meet up and talk about your first month? Oh, and I was like, heck yeah, I want free coffee. <laughs> is what that says. On the company card, boys. <laughs> oh, I guess I will take an extra shot of uh, espresso. I don't really order coffee. You don't drink know coffee, I feel. I don't. I drink a lot of water. That counts. The big problem... So what happened, basically, was... Um, over my first two years in college... I had to, I'd have to get up early and drive 30 minutes to get to school. Correct. So I would drink like, I would like stop at a quick trip and buy like one or two kickstarts like every day. I uh, remember, I like, remember this. I had a similar thing, except it was Red Bulls. Yeah. It's so like the whole time we were at the, the home of the wombat, UW's Sheboygan. Which I still uh, get emails for, by the way, because I've just never bothered taking myself off their email lists. Don't worry. I still UW get emails green. and text notifications. So they when, got the, when, when there is a storm that happens in Sheboygan, I know about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, that sucks for Sheboygan, a place I yeah, haven't been in years. I get all the Green Bay stuff still. I mean, I'm still a Screen Bay student. I just don't go to campus anymore. Yeah, you just have online courses. I'm just going to save. Because we're good. We've done yeah. it. We've made it the full two hours this time. It's unprecedented. Crazy. But yeah, so I got really, really hopped up on caffeine all the time. And then like last year, last busy season at the tax firm, I drank like tons of coffee all the time. Uh, even though I don't like hot liquids, so I'd always have to fill it up with ice, too. <laughs> right. And eventually I just, like, was like, hmm, I should try to stop drinking so much caffeine. Because, like, if I didn't have caffeine, I just felt terrible. Oh, I know. That's why I quit caffeine when I quit caffeine. I don't know if you... Yeah. Yeah. I think I was still around you for that. It was while I was still working at Walmart and also in college. 
And so oh, I, yeah. I had two jobs technically at the time because I was working IT at the school too. And I would drink mm-hmm. like two Red Bulls a day. And then a day came where I was like, oh, I'm poor right now. I can't afford Red Bulls. And then I crashed super duper hard. And I was like, this is absolutely miserable. And then I stopped drinking caffeine for like three years. And now I have like a soda every couple days at the most. Usually only like one or two a month, though. Yeah, I'm kind of around that same anyway, same thing. Uh, that's going to do it for us tonight, folks. Thank you so much for watching. I've been Super Ninja 5506 You can follow me on Twitter at Super Ninja 5506 You can follow Josh on Twitter at American underscore Josh. You can follow the channel on Twitter at Magic Abridge. There's a link to the PayPal down below where you can give us a one-time donation like Sarah Bear did earlier in the night. Uh, saving up for a stream 3DS, so every little bit helps, and then I'll be able to stream 3DS games, which will be fun. Uh, there's a link to the YouTube if you want to check out the abridged stuff. There's a link to the Twitter if you don't like typing. There's a link to the Discord if you want to come hang out with us on Discord. There's a link to the Patreon if you want to get access to behind-the-scenes content uh, for my abridged stuff, which I put up there. And there's a link to the Teespring if you want to get shirts. Uh, there's also, uh, if you want to catch Josh, you can watch him uh, tomorrow on the Anime Lawyers, I believe, is their Twitch. Uh, him and Swissy will be playing Doki Doki Literature Club. I guess, which is why we're not streaming Apparently. tomorrow. So, so that's uh, exciting. I yeah. know about as much as the rest of you. Yeah. So, and I'll. Uh, I mean, I know. I know a lot about it. I'm just not there, which is why they didn't invite me because I have played and finished the game. Uh, so yeah, that's gonna. We're taking the night off tomorrow, but feel free to catch them. And thank you for watching. We'll see you Friday 